Hi there, my name is Peter Rousseau and I'm about to show you the online course that we are going to use to teach mathematics. We also have this course in physics which looks very similar to you, so you should get the idea from what I'm about to show you. Once you have enrolled, you should get an email inviting you to the online course. All you do is follow the links in that email. You'll get to this page where you can sign in and go directly to the course. Once you get to your main page under courses, you will find your online course. And here I'm going to go to online mathematics. You'll be taken to the home page of the online mathematics course. And there's very little on here except for maybe an introduction video. But you can go right ahead with the work by clicking on module. Under modules, the work is separated into different modules. For example, here you can see the first module is functions and their graphs and this is opened and if you click on any consecutive module it will also open the topics under that as you can see now every module is separated into subheadings and these include the topics that you must understand or know for your final exam for example linear functions now though this is a grade 12 online course linear functions is not a grade 12 topic the reason for that and why it is included is because the final exam also assesses grade 10 and 11 as well as grade 12 content. That's why we included all of the grade 10 and 11 content that will be assessed in your final exam and that which forms a foundation for a better understanding of the grade 12 topics. If I go to any of these topics, for example, I go to converting between quadratic formats, I'll be taken to a page from where I can learn this current topic. On the page you'll notice there's a video example. If I click on that, it will start a video which will teach me the topic at hand. You can enlarge it to watch it on full screen. And once you feel confident with what you've learned, you may go ahead and press next, which will take you through the content sequentially. You will also notice that on this page there are some text. This is simply a summary of what is in the video. If you feel you don't want to watch the video, which is about 10 minutes long, and briefly just want to read through the content because you do feel you understand the work, then you are welcome to do so without watching the video. Most of the videos are between 3 and 15 minutes long. I'll go ahead and click on next. This takes me to the next part of my study, the practicing part. Here I'll need to log in. All you need to do is simply press login. And this now takes me to some exercises that I can practice. You will notice that this question consists of 16 questions in this topic. These questions are ordered from easy to more difficult. For example, the easy questions will take you step by step through this process, while the more difficult questions may expect you to do this question step by step, but on your own. These questions have three very cool features. The first very cool feature is that if you do not know what to do, you can click on a video example on how to do this question. Secondly, once you've submitted your answer, you will get an immediate feedback on whether you are correct or not. You will also be able to get a second attempt, third, fourth, you can attempt it as often as you like, but with every reattempt, you will get a new question. It will basically look the same, but the values will be different. It is very important that you get 100% for every set of homework questions. The reason for that is that any work that follows on this question set will be blocked unless you get 100%. This makes sense, of course. For how can you continue with work if you do not understand the work on which it is following? This does not mean, however, if you do not get 100% that you cannot continue with other work. Most of the content will still be available to you. Only the topics that build on this specific topic will be blocked. If you do feel, however, that you are struggling, the video is not helping, you've attempted this a few times, there is no reason to worry because we also offer online support. There are two ways in which you can get some help. Firstly, you can go to discussions. Under discussions, you can post a topic that you need some help. Here, for example, someone posted that they need help. Notice how this person said they need some help. I don't know how to solve 
and here they even inserted a mathematical equation. You can insert equations, videos, graphs, almost anything you can imagine. Please help. As a teacher, I can now respond to this person's questions. Also note that everyone who has access to this course will be able to help you. Therefore, this is ideal for people that want to start a discussion and want their friends to help them because they feel they understand why they themselves are not understanding. If you, however, feel not to expose yourself like this, you can also send people private messages. Under people, you will see everyone registered as students or as teachers for this course. If you want to send one of your teachers a message, simply click on their profile and on the little speech bubble. From here you can send them a question, make a video recording explaining your problem if you're struggling to write it down, attach a past paper that you are working through and need some help with, or schedule a time for an online lesson. During the online lesson, you and your teacher will share a workspace, almost like an online whiteboard, where you can write and the teacher can write and can help you to understand the topic you are struggling with. I hope you will agree with me that this is an absolute excellent tool to help you do your best in this coming year with mathematics or with physics. There are loads of features I wasn't able to show you during this video. However, if you want more information, I will be delighted to respond to any of your emails. Now this course can be used either to help you with maths while you're doing it at a school somewhere. Since we are a registered Sakai service provider, we can even provide you with an SBA mark and arrange an exam venue for your final exam. That means you can effectively upgrade your matric maths and physics marks online. If you are a homeschooler, this is also excellent support to provide you with curriculum. Well, I think at this point, I'm confident to hear from you soon. Bye.